Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd make a quick video this evening. Um, I'm going to spend most of the evening finishing off my VR to uh, Andrew Luberton and uh, the Boogeyman's um, 120 sub contest. I just thought I'd uh, drop a little update in, let tell you guys how I'm doing and uh, what's going on. I, um, I received this recently. I say I received it. I picked it up. Uh, I was in a bit of a state. The stem was completely brown with corrosion. Um, it was really, really bad. As you can see, um, it has. Oh, it's looking really good now. If I get it to focus, then you might be able to see. Not giving up, camera. Okay, <laughs> as you can see now, it's looking pretty good. Um, just a bit of elbow grease has gone into it, really. Um, I actually put the stem in bleach after watching someone's video. Uh, I can't remember who it was now. I think it was Pipe. Is it Pipe's Head OR or something like that? Um, anyway, a great video of, of bleaching the stems, vulcanite stems. And this has taken this from really horrible brown to a really nice black. And then what I did last night was I just sanded it with um, uh, various grades up into a very very fine 12,000 uh, 12, uh, grit paper and then here's the uh, bowl and the uh, uh, for some reason the name just I've lost it just to give you a quick look there's a big uh, there was a big burn mark just here and uh, I've just sanded it away a bit just to sort of level it out it's a pretty big bowl, as you can probably tell. Um, sorry about that. There we go. It's quite a nice looking pipe. It's a Ben Wade, as you could probably see from the uh, shank, the shank there. Um, nice looking pipe. I've filled it already. I'm ready to go uh, with some Erin Moore flake. I've never tried before, so I'm going to try that for the first time. I'm having takeout tonight because the wife's um, the wife's going out with one of her work friends, and uh, really looking forward to it. So I'm going to carry on this video when I'm back from smoking this, and go through uh, the snuffs that I've got to review, and that I've received another package of them today. So I'm going to list out the snuffs, um, and then hopefully you guys might have something you want me to review or whatever. So. Um, this is the package I got. So I'll be back instantly for you in about 45 minutes for me. Uh, and I'll carry on the video. Hello. See you soon. Hello, YouTube, I am back. Um, I finished my pipe and it's cold and rainy out there, so I think I rushed it a little bit. I really enjoyed Aaron Moore Flake. It was a nice, um, you know, it was something new that I've not tried before, so it was nice, nice to try that. Um, really enjoyed it. Very pleased with the pipe. Um, it's uh, let me see. It was getting a little bit moist in the bottom, but it was raining. Uh, probably affected it. I don't know. It was raining, and I was rushing it, so I don't know whether that makes a difference in terms of um, you know how sorry um, how moist it gets in the bottom. I could sort of tell the moisture was building up there, but um, nevertheless, a very enjoyable smoke. I actually got a phone call from the takeout guy, delivery guy, just as I just as I got to the uh, seafront, and he said, "I'm here with your with your food," and I went, uh, "I haven't ordered it for another hour," because you put your order in, and you say what time you want it delivered, and he said, "No, no, it says." You know, it doesn't say a time. I said, go and check the order receipt. It says, you know, it says 19:10, which is when I ordered it for. And net, um, you know, needless to say, he was wrong. And um, unfortunately, he's had to take it back because I wasn't even in, so I couldn't even accept it. I would have accepted it had I been here. So he's took that back. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get on topic. I have a list of snuff here on my computer that I'm going to read out and I'm going to put in the description but first because there's going to be a bit to add um, 
this one. We'll open this up. So I've never seen a box like this before. It's very cool. Um, I'll just tilt that down. I'm going to pull this wrapping off. Just got my address on. And have a look at this. 16 large vacuum sealed tins. This is the ultimate snuff box. I'm absolutely over the moon of this. Too deep. So what I'll do is, I'll read you off. Um, this is all Samuel Goweth, by the way, if you didn't guess. Fantastic snuff company. Um, made in England. The factory's in Cumbria, the mill. Here's the details. Go and check them out if you haven't. Awesome, awesome snuff. And they've been going since 1792, which is also pretty cool, I think. Right, so, snuff's that I have, um, that I haven't reviewed yet. And so, I'll read these out to you, and we'll go from there. So, Gareth and Hogar Jockey Club. I'll just say the abbreviation GH English Rose, Samuel Gowith SG, Aniseed, NTSU Black, SG Cherry, Wilson Sasharo Aniseed and Eucalyptus, Wilson Sasharo Wallflower, Wilson Sasharo Thyme and Lemon, Fubar Medic, Fubar Dulali Tap, Dulakia Black, SG Chocolate, SG KB Original, SG Rapi. Toke Quit, Toke Espresso, Toke Whiskey and Honey. Uh, these next six are all Wilson's of Sharrow. SP100, SP5, eh, sorry, SM500, Crumbs of Comfort, Super Menthol, Dynamite, Jockey Club. And then Toke Peanut Butter, Toke Strawberry, and Toke Blueberry. Okay, and then these ones. So I've got, these are all Samuel Gowith, Fire Dance, Black Coffee, um, Kendall Brown Original, that might have already been on there, Elmo's Reserve, <laughs> that is one cool can, check that out. There we go. Um, Sam Gowith Toffee, uh, Chocolate, Golden Glow, uh, afterglow was in here, I think. No, not afterglow. Bouquet, grouse moor, Celtic talisman, and that's all of them. So I'm going to put these onto my spreadsheet, and then you drop me a message or comment, whatever. Let me know which ones you'd like to see me review. I'm going to review all of these as soon as I can, cause I'm just chuffed with this. It's a wicked box. I love how it's presented as well. Uh, imagine getting this for Christmas or for your birthday from someone. Um, I picked it up from the Post Depot this morning and um, I had no idea what it was. I was like, what the heck's this box? And I uh, opened it up in the car and I was like, whoa, 16 tins of snuff. So, fantastic. Um, so that's all, all for this video, it's long enough now. Um, just quickly show off my little piece of handiwork that I've been working on. Uh, you may have seen my pipe tamper snuff spoon that I made in a recent video. I've actually modified it now um, just to be a snuff spoon because I didn't really like having the dirty tobacco end on it. So that's my snuff spoon and um, I've made an extra bit handle for it which is good for scooping up big chunks of snuff or um, you know stirring it if you're making a blend so yeah I'm really pleased with that it works, works dead well I've got uh, I'll show you here just have to scoop it in there a bit and then you get a lovely little portion there housekeeping at the end of the video taking some SP extra great stuff Jacob if you're watching I've been taking that because you had it the other day and it made me fancy it 
So, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please comment if you'd like to see any of those. I'm going to put them in the list below because there's too many um, for you to remember. And uh, thank you for watching. See you soon.